So where there's a more proximal injury on the forearm that may have affected the flexors of the wrist, uh, we need to test these. Um, and we do this by asking the patient, can you make a fist and cock your hand up towards you? Now it could be the flexors of the fingers that are bringing about that movement, so what we need to do is do it resisted, so make a fist for me and try and stop me from straightening and then we need to actually palpate the tendons involved. So you can see, you can actually see the FCR tendon here. This is palmaris longus and this is the flexor carpi radialis tendon. So we need to palpate those and make sure that there is powered movement um, and continuity of those tendons. And FCU tendon will be here, I can feel it along here. So although the flexion of the wrist could be done uh, using the finger flexors by palpating the tendons when they're um, holding the wrist ag against resistance, you're able to say that it's definitely the wrist flexors. So in summary, when I'm um, examining those flexors, I'd say to the patient, can you bring your wrist up for me? Try and stop me from pulling down and I palpate along those two tendons.